Welcome back. Whether it's a space heater, candles, a heating lamp, or an electric blanket, keeping ourselves and our homes warm this winter can quickly turn into a fire hazard if you're not careful. So we're giving you tips from the Spokane Valley Fire Department on how to practice safety while keeping warm. Destiny Richards is live with the fire department showing us what can happen if you don't. Yeah, so we've been showing you what not to do when it comes to space heaters and heating uh, equipment in general. We're here with Marcus Duarte. We've been burning this for a while. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, wow, that is plasticky and pretty much destroyed. <laughs> so that gave off a bit of smoke that we saw earlier. Yeah. And if you've seen that, if you had a properly working smoke alarm with batteries in it, you'd have noticed right away that alarm would alarm once there was any smoke in the air and yeah. you'd know something was wrong and you could have removed this and stopped it at that point. Yeah, so that is a good thing. You know, have those smoke alarms, make sure you change those batteries and have them in working order. But this outside um, is not an easy warning because you didn't hear smoke alarms and things like that. No, this one, uh, as you can see what happened there, it started up right on us. So we had it out here for probably about a half an hour yeah. and it was pretty cold out here. We didn't get much. Then it started smoking, and within about five to ten minutes after it smoking, it ignited and yeah. burned, and then our bulb exploded in there. So we, that would have burned up a, a chicken coop full of straw in no time. It would have went up pretty fast. Yeah. And been deadly for any animals in there as well. So that's um, how, I guess, would you say is a good way to prevent these fires? Well, the, the hard part is people want to secure, they want these things, they got a clamp on them, they want to secure them down low enough so that it can be used as a heat. But then the problem gets knocked off or straw gets pushed up against it. So yeah. in order to do that, it's going to have to be secured in a way that it won't fall down into that straw. Okay, yeah, so. definitely things to keep in mind. You can also go to our website, kxy.com. We have information about avoiding these types of fires, avoiding candle fires, ones with other electrical equipment as well. All the tips you need to know from the Spokane Valley Fire Department. Reporting live in Spokane Valley, Destiny Richards, 4 News Now.